within that region always seems to cause a bit of an upset. Victor. I'm Let very excited. There's a there's a player coming over, and I know this is the Americas, but Asia is coming tomorrow. Techno 4K is a really Techno young kid. Techno 4K. Yeah, really young Mongolian kid, right? Okay. So uh, the last RMR, the last Asian RMR I did with PGO, uh, we had this team called. Um, Checkmate, who qualified, okay. and one of their players, who was called Kane, celebrated so hard, he broke his arm on the desk. Wait, and so, really? Yeah, he smacked the desk and broke his arm at, when they qualified. So they had to bring in this young kid, Techno, who turned out to be absolutely sick, and they kept him, and now he's coming uh, to play on land. So I'm very excited to see him play. Okay, all right. Well, uh, no Techno music here today. Just uh, <laughs> overpass to get us underway as Furia versus MIBR continues onwards and upwards with the CT start from Furia. See exit there with the P250. That shot rings out. A couple of smoke grenades here as they want to return back to B late. And look at Ooh. this. Yuri just taking some fights. Cello gone. Woody two and Yuri's taking down everybody. Uh, well, the B site is closed as Yuri will happily collect three skulls. Exit. Oh, he's going to exit this round lonely and afraid. Finally, a headshot picked up. Throw down a smoke, he's using Leave everything. Leave me alone. Just let me go to the nightclub. He hears the techno music behind him. In 4K. Yeah, absolutely. You can watch it 4K the on knives. YouTube. And oh, oh, they've oh. gone up to him, Chad. That is not the way you want to get done. Not the way you want to get done at all. And then, of course, it's Art leaping in, shanking him. And now, Art, guess what? He could buy an AWB. And I think he's even thinking about <laughs> it here. Oh, yeah. uh, he's not going to do it. All, all right, right, all he's, right. He's, he's broken them enough, Chad. You know, that would just be another level. We, I, I thought he wanted to go for a knife kill on the pistol round as well on, uh, I think it was their, their T side, right? Yes, it looked yes, like it. So this rapping, time he yeah. will get one and a little bit frustrating there, but not the end of the world. Having a great time, Fury. I think that's a statement of intent, really, at the start of this pistol. Yeah, and I think if you go, oh, maybe overpass could be a bit of a weakness for Fury. You look at their most recent result, they beat outsiders uh, uh, on this very map quite convincingly over at uh, EPL, I do believe. So, uh, it, look, outsiders on overpass, normally quite a staple map for them. Yeah, when they don't run out of time. Flash that up for Yuri. Gonna swing and the clock moving towards him. Nice. Yuri lines him up. He's had another three on the other side of things this time around. And it's cleaned up. The M4 will be saved. Save brings that on over. 2 0 start for Furia. We go A. Yuri's there. We go B. Yuri's there. Where are you going to go now? Yuri's connector. everywhere, apparently. Yuri's well, there. I'm sure he'll be there. Look at the spawn. Maybe, just maybe, he <laughs> yes, will be down will. towards connector here. Well, he's, he's facing that way right now. Yeah, play some loosey goosey Counter Strike here today. A few other furious side of things. Look at him just peppering away at range. It's uh, Art, who only came in with a USP in the previous, will pick up Safe's MP9. He's going to use that one and deep incendiary to stall them out. They extinguish Essential. And you're right, Yuri did start over towards the connector position. Safe with a gap in the smoke, manufactured from his own design. He's trying to look and see if anybody wants to overstep the mark. Can't believe your reaction when connector makes you look like an absolute genius. Yeah, it does happen once in a while, doesn't it? You can just make that perfect call, or alternatively, we say something, and that's when the caster's curse comes into play. But yeah, no, we've uh, we've got the. Bewitching curse is done. Uh, it's left for you guys over at uh, EPL, so we've, we're fine here at the moment. Hopefully. You haven't packed the robe, right? No, I left that there. Well, safe. He's scoped in towards mid, peek in towards turtle. It's going to result in an easy kill for Furia to open things up, and I might be on very tentative in this approach. What they're doing right now is saying that a team like Vitality with Apex leading the charge will get away with on the timing. They slink on through, they buy their respect with a little bit of utility, they get a gap and then they go. But problems of time again here, 40 seconds, and they bear down towards A. Well safe. If you're, if you're going to give him these fights, he's going to have to take every single one of them. Three in the round for safe, and he goes back and nearly gets a fourth. Finally, Exit puts him in the ground, but the damage has already been done. Jordan now coming out of long no longer has the element of, of surprise and exit in the bathrooms. I'm a fan of eggs. Look at his eggs. Yeah, I mean, he's got those small box Eminor stickers. Let's blow in 2015, those bad boys right there. How much are those stickers now? Ridiculous amount, The original like, box from the 2014 uh, Katowice ones, I think, the, the ones that basically don't have any yeah. background whatsoever, they're at some absurd price. They could probably pay... Every one of the players of Vox Eminor's salaries back then with a couple of stickers. Yeah, the salaries that we didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> we we're playing for the love of the game. Like Party Astronauts, which is coming up later on today. They'll be playing against Evil Geniuses to try and keep themselves alive. 
I'll, uh, three consecutive rounds and three three Ks from Furia. So that's individual effort alone guaranteeing them the pistol, the conversion, and the first gun. He is back into the pistolas to come MIBR. Everybody in the server right now, Brazilian. So they're all made in Brazil. Brazilian teams have been finding a lot of success here at this event. I'm sure, uh, sure the fans are loving that. Let's look like up through short drop, good for one turtle. Still looking back in with the tech nine, but Curse oh, oh, that is disgusting. Three. Everybody just was dead. It just fell over. But that's another 3k. Yeah, it's ridiculous. This on Castorado. Yeah. So now it is either Art or Drop's turn, and then everybody will have one. Yes. Uh, Art it's got an AWP. Definitely got a chance of that. But look at that. Look wow. collateral. Yeah. Okay. For the headshot. Four zero start for Furia. It's turning into a mince meat here. Well, a timeout taken from MOBR, and if, if we were going to critique how they approached that first gun round, it was just a lot of dry swings. Oh, a little A-stream update there, top right of the screen. 9Z do win over Sarkatano 16-13 to 13 on that first map of play. Now, remember, all the games going down on the mainstream today are for survival. None of those three are going to lock themselves in for the major. They will have to battle in through a little mini bracket tomorrow. A uh, sixth to eighth place decider there to lock in the sixth and final team for the Americas RMR. So the five teams that we currently do have already in uh, contention for that major in Antwerp in a couple of weeks' time are as follows. You ready for this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Fury and MIBR, the two teams you have on screen right now. Liquid and Complexity representing the North American region. And Imperial, the old boys that can have qualified here. FNX looking to keep his uh, flawless run. That'll be interesting for sure. Does FNX mean to major? That's the question on everybody's lips. Cello out through the stairs early. Jordan getting tagged up. Down to 56 and drops boost will work out. Jordan not ready for it. Okay, drop just two more, man. We just need Here two more go. out of you. Well, he's going in. He's getting aggressive. Turtle ain't looking. He's going to find it. Surely a kill here. Oh, turtle spotted. It's a little bit of a uh, warning system. Drop oh, still Molly's asserting some control, and Yuri will steal away that pick with the Molly. Drop now holds for Woody to peek in towards his cross arrow. He's got a second. Now just one left. Drop would need to find Art, this. Stay away, Art. <laughs> Gotta give him the chance here. Drop will oh, not get it. Yuri steals it away. Oh, God damn it, guys. Come on. Drop is yet to die, nor has Casarado died yet. That's a good stat line to have. Well, this is, uh, I suppose, what we expected. Dinko said we're not going to lie to you, and we, we, we won't. We, we continue to keep things as earnest and honest as possible. Yet to frag, uh, Woody and Cello. Joda with one, one for Turtle, and exit with that three piece of his own here. Run, jump, throw, and miss. Yeah, that one not hitting the mark by any means. A bit of a uh, flubbed Sandari there to set the tone early in round number six. Art's posted up on the sandbag position, just peering on down. And, and this is an angle that's fantastic. It's one of the early orping angles I remember Fallen using on overpass uh, here. Yes. We always catch players off guard as they peer around that corner coming through the sewer pipe. It's especially strong when you have a rifle supporting you right up through short. But the thing is, a lot of orpers will hold that angle. Art now moves forward with W. Of course he does. He's going to constrict over towards the backyard of B here. In connector, the player that could try and unravel all of this is Woody. Shots ring out, but... Oh, be feeling a oh, bit like wow. Mr. Potato Man as opposed to Buzz Lightyear in a moment. Burn down. Another incendiary kill here as the pain continues to come the way of MIBR. They're turning to charcoal there, Woody. Oh. It was Tim Allen who did the voice of Woody, wasn't it? Uh, or was, did no, he do Buzz Lightyear? Light, yeah. yeah, Buzz Lightyear uh, was uh, that's Tim Allen. Right. Tim Allen used to have a fun show. What was it called? Uh, well, he it was a show about him having a TV show about uh, hardware, like hardware store. Like it was a Tim oh, yeah. the Tool Man Taylor. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't watch it. But I have like few clips of it. But exit. Well, he's seen a clip of uh, Safe. He's taking him down. He's a big clip of his own, but dropped on the double. Yeah, six rounds in a row now for Furia. Was the show called Tim the Toolman Taylor? I don't know if it was. Tim the Tool. Man. Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy, something like that. That's that something a little bit. <laughs> that's a little bit different. Uh, Home Improvement was the name. 
Ah, but uh, he, close, Chad. Yeah, and then it was they had a they had a TV show in the show. That's and there was cool. a weird guy who was always peering over the fence. You never saw his face. Oh. That sounds that sounds pretty creepy. It does sound creepy when we put it that way, doesn't it? I, my, the most famous uh, Tim Allen film that I from for me personally is Santa Claus. Yes, he did he did play Santa, didn't he? Yeah. One of the many. Love that. What's the best? Ah, oh, it's a bit too early to talk about Christmas films, I think. Best Christmas film? This is a horror film right now for MRBL. <laughs> yeah. And I hate scary movies. I absolutely hate them. Mostly because they're all terrible. But, uh, cool, that is. Ooh, that's a little bit of murder right there. It's jotted to the headshot, art out of there. Taking up an aggressive angle and ends up getting his head removed. Trying the same trick twice, isn't he, old RT boy? Drop, spotted, and the swing around. Whoa. Exit, get on out of here. He nearly recovers for the second. He went back again. And so close to bringing down Turtle, who now just barely stands at 16 HP. Well, this is a three on four situation. So the best chance so far for MIBR to convert around here. Wouldn't be a bad one to find by any means. They're turning their attention over towards the B-bomb site. Taking a quick bit of inventory as far as the util goes. Smoke, a couple of flashbangs, some mollies, and a HE for good measure. They can piece this one together. Traditionally, you'd want to get a heaven smoke out. You'd want to molly towards the barrels. You'd want to try and flash off towards the pip. Uh, they go on contact here, just stepping out before the util lands. Joda dead, three on three. Well, they're holding for the walkout via monster. It is the initial Shadow pick here for Castellano. Oh, Cello, so quick to the headshot, gets the second. He should have been confirmed dead, but lovely shots. This nade could be well placed here. The HP is low. Cello will go down. Bam. Oh. Bomb not planted. Ten seconds. Someone needs to get on this. And now... Save could also wall mark him. <laughs> okay. Turtle to the headshot. Holds the cross out. And a good round finally picked up four men in Brazil. Okay. And that all started with Art giving away the opening kill there. So that seems to be one of the difference makers. If they can grab that opening kill, Fury are going to be flying. If they give it on over, MIBR can contest. But it was a close round regardless. There it is. Good shot from Jonah. The swing around from Drop. He almost got Turtle there as well. So that was the big play out of him. And Cello's double secures the B bomb site onto that of Caserato and Yuri. But 6-1, the score reads, and another round like that, the economy will come into question for Furia. The Panther aggressively down through the connector, the boost on up, pipe clear. Oh, smoke goes down. Orange going to hold if they walk through it. The disrespect, they will be impaled by the AWP. Oh, well timed on the spam there. Art just kind of chipped away at and kept on notice, so in check. MIBR are slowing down the crawl. They haven't really taken any space over towards A so far as they are concerned with pushes up through long and the party position. Smoke deployed, Art's vision removed, and as he starts to slink and slide on back, he does have two around the corner to greet him. Art's in a bit of trouble here. Safe cycle so good out long, head spotted just over the top of the rock. Now Art often in trouble. Oh! oh! Can find his way out. It's a team kill actually. Art hit the leg shot, had a chance for the collateral kill, but 3v3, that kill makes a difference. 45 seconds. Jota tries to get out Monster and Keserato eventually on the last bullet gets the kill. Well, this one should be done now, really. All that damage, damage done to exit there, I feel like Art's going to be kicking himself he didn't get the collat. The lineup almost coming his way, and now the two on four situation looking like a save scenario every day of the week. Tucking tail back in towards the spawn and where they started, and holding on to these little goodies right here. Plenty of buffer between them and the closest CT, so no dramas. Gun saved, and away we go into round number nine. Yeah, problem here for MIPR is you just can't find strings, right? You can't put the rounds together, no consecutive success. Zero kills for Woody. Yeah, it's, it's been rough. It, it really has. He's just been uh, kindling to the fire of the Furia. 7-1 now for the Furia side. Just uh, systematic destruction to get their intended goal. And Yuri never really looks stressed. Always uh, always nice and comfortable. Uh, same for Castorado. I mean, you just see him on the screen. He's looking so comfortable. Castorado feeling real good about this game right now. How do you think uh, Gary goes having to watch on the sideline? Right, we know what we know. He is sidelined. How do you do? You think he stresses out while he watches the games? Or do you not, think not he has faith in the boys? Not at this competition. Next I don't time think. round, maybe. Yeah, maybe next time. This is Pacey. Yeah, turtles charging. You know, turtles not known for their speed, but Art puts them down. 
Art attack. There we go. That's a reference from everyone's. I'll take that back. That's a reference from Australian and British people's childhoods. Did maybe, like Art Attack. Yeah, maybe they made it in your country too. Um, uh, my favorite was when he did things with salt. He made a vampire once upon a time. Personally loved toilet roll tubes. Okay, that's a... Uh, yeah, you can find plenty of those around the place. You can make like a dog out of toilet roll tubes and spaghetti and all kinds of things. Well, uh, could be making spaghetti at this player towards long. Well, he actually just gets turned into bolognese, taken out. Itchy removes him, so five to s 55 seconds left. Down into a doable position here for MIPR. They have loved the slower plays. Pace here oh. in MIPR, waiting for aggression. And Yuri will certainly provide that aggression. Beating it out is a different story. And now the awesome save. Oh, nice headshot. Cello just removes save head. So now Yuri tasks holding down the fort up towards the bathrooms. Once again, MIPR with 30 seconds left. It is this B play from Jota moving forward. If Jota gets this kill, the rotation might come through. They can bring the bomb back over, oh, and they no. are. But now they're stuck between both bomb sites. Exit committing towards B up short. Caserato's okay, heard this, and once he gets the oh. kill, it should have been the round. Bomb getting planted now. The digits will get punched on in, and Cello's still alive. He's going to take down Yuri. One on two for drop. Yeah, he has to win this out with just a flash left. He can isolate that fight. It's short. The flash is good, but no overextension here. Haven't given him the chance. Oh, there's the peak. It comes around and exit to the headshot. That round looked as good as done, but MIBR find their way through the B site. Felt like it really should have been Furious round there. Uh, Caserato getting that kill as they trundle into the B bomb site, unable to connect the damage onto the second. And this is how it started. Art uh, just with a bit of a freebie, cops that nade. Back pedal out, another little wombo combo. Anywhere where there's a flash in a setup like that, I love it. Right? It's just showing you the, the communication, the teamwork of the teams are on point, but a great shot from Exit on low HP, and they will grab their second throughout all of this. One more. Fury will have no cash remaining. They've already forced more in on the signs of drop and art. Two AWPs out, one for K Serato, one for safe. So you can tell they're already doing things a little bit funkier here. This is a great opportunity for MIBR to start building into this half. Safe, not wanting to hang around for too long, aware that there is a timer on the upper bathroom's position as well. He has Yuri in combination down towards connector so far. The smoke to deny vision. And he's looking to push on through, I think. Let's call that one off. Two players towards long. This is about to get crazy. A lot of ooh, potential boost, but Castorado aware that Turtle might want to extend around the flower bed. And now an AK at the ready. Yuri elsewhere has moved ahead of exit. And Art oh, over the boost comes in with one. Eventually traded out by Cello, but position now compromised. Cello would need to double up again. He can't do it onto the rifle picked up by Castorado. So just draw the left, often just the solo B lurker. And he has caught for Furia. That's what I'd be doing right there if I was the coach. That's great, Chad. You've got your coaching. That's the coaching down. clap. That'll be the coaching clap. Because how can you not be happy with it? How can you not be happy with that whatsoever? Understanding the space they've given up. The fact that K Serato takes a shot with AWP, transitions to the AK, and does that damage. That was such a scary position to find yourself in. And they pull it off. Eight to two. The score goes back in their favor down towards the Pistolas. It is going to be MIBR if they do. Well, I was going to say force, but Cello and Turtle haven't. Joda has. Woody's still yet to frag. Uh, it's quick. And Yuri actually might get caught by this. Had it in his hand, but turns back with the rifle. And it's boom, the ball down. That's quick. Pistol's gone. Caramba. Uh, and you love that. Another three-piece feed here. Yuri, he has 17 kills. Yeah. He's having a great time. He's had multiple 3Ks. And he's always in the right position to deal with these quick rushes on the weaker buys. He's oh. always in the right spot. Yeah, he's uh, well, yeah, he's had a 3K long, a 3K yeah. connector, and a 3K B. Oh, if we can go back to that M4 up in the bathrooms, so that would be really great. Oh, he's, has he dropped it? Which M4? I, it's a, I think it's called the Masterpiece. It looks, oh, yeah? It looks... Oh, no, it's not the Masterpiece. Is it the... This, this one? one? This one. It looks like Mosaic? the... Mosaic? Yeah, so it looks like the... You know that one song? There was like a one-hit wonder. I Somebody that I name. used to know. Leaded Glass, it's called. Yeah, well, that looks like the music video with a guy who oh, like... Oh, with uh, Gautier. Yeah. Yeah, he's from New Zealand. Yeah, well, I hear just somebody that I used to know. Somebody. somebody. With, um, oh, I forget her name. Wow, we got half of it. Yeah, we, we got the song down. But it does look like the music video. Someone do a comparison for Dinko here. Grab the, grab the picture of Gossier from uh, that song. 
and uh, get the gun, the leaded glass. And uh, Photoshop his face onto it. Photoshop, okay. Is that like a meme? Yeah, it could be. I think that's what... Is that, that what memes are? Could be classified as a meme, I guess. It's Back in my day, memes were called jokes. Yes. Jokes don't exist anymore. No. People are just jokes And you're days. not allowed to joke either because you get slapped. No, you have to meme, Chad. It's only a meme. I'm only memeing. It is great when old people figure out well, what a meme is. Kimbra. Kimbra. Oh, it's great that we have little people who live in our heads to give us all the information. Yeah, more than usual. Kimbra, that's right. So the, the problem th with those type of songs, Dinko, is they come at a quite an important time of my life as I was a, a, a young adult, early, te early te well, it'd be late teenager, wouldn't it? So whereas you are now just a young adult. Yes. So the song, the music's that refining your life now are from the TikToks. No. 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 I I'm think you you don't realize it, but they are. I don't. I don't listen to those, Chad. You don't need to. They're everywhere. Because oh, then they make it onto the radio. They just for, yeah. I don't listen to the radio. Well. That's the video oh, killed oh, the radio oh, star. It did. It really did. That's a good song. Video. It's not. This isn't karaoke, everybody. I know <laughs> we are in a booth right now, and we have got microphones. What but What is the one? Song that you would bang out at a karaoke bar, Chad. Probably some Linkin Park. Yeah? yeah. Any specific one? I don't know if Crawling I Crawling in my skin. Numb's pretty easy to, to bang on out, I reckon. Yeah, that's a good one. Nine two though. They might be all about to feel numb if they lose this because Dell, no, it's nine two right now. Uh, and that is rough to be in this situation. Well, that incendiary keeps missing, the one that's meant to, to dribble a little bit further into playground, I do believe. But it isn't causing too many dramas just here. A deep one lobbed on out. Cello, you have been retained and your smoke causes naught. Safe is having a bloody field day. Pushed <laughs> up in playground, scoping on deep. And if you peer on out, you are dead meat. I love this. You know, Safe, not really living up to his name in this round, but I always feel like he's going to show up, misses it. Has to show the flash in instead. Well, he's done so much here. He has bought oodles of time because if MIBL want to claim this territory first of all they need to come from connector and second of all they need to push and press back but into B Jota goes wood molly dropped flash back into play and they could get swung on any moment here playing anti-flash scared exactly of that Woody sets them up and away we go pop flash in Jota the front man and he looks to take down the barrels but he's caught by the flash of Yuri Utility is so on point, but luckily Turtle still frogging still kicking and now drop from the barrels claims the life of Woody they know the turtle was in the side itself. He didn't come up in the kill feed, so they know they have to check for him. And Yuri looks back to the barrels. Turtle tries to catch the yellow in a surprise, but they were wise to his tricks. 30 seconds left. Accident cello. Gonna make something happen here. 28 seconds, I guess. Just drop back. Oh, he can't even do that because drop has found you. There's drops three piece. He's up to 12 kills now. Cello gonna grab the bomb. Uh, 18 seconds. Is cello gonna save the gun or try to. He or, might get hunted die. down. Yuri's looking for him. <laughs> Headshot. And spraying the body. And yelling over the fence. I'm loving it. I'm loving it all. It's exactly what we're here to see. I think regional Counter-Strike has a lot more of this. I used to love doing it back at the local lands in Oz. I remember yeah. when we went to uh, MSI Beta in uh, 2013 as well, which was, it was in China. But uh, a large portion of the teams were regionally from either, well, I think we were the only Australian team. There was a lot from Southeast Asia slash China. And then we had a couple of European imports come in. But that is back when lands used to be like our table was facing the opponent's table. Yeah. And uh, we were pretty, we, we loved a bit of smack talk. We'd stand up, we'd stare yeah. them straight in the eye. They were a little bit scared to look at you when a, a big burly bunch of lads from Australia <laughs> yelling in your face. I went to an Irish land and there was a fight broke out because one of the teammates didn't buy him Subway. Oh, so. well, you guys do things a bit differently, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Quick play through a monster. It's Cello with one turtle. Also following up here. And they've Boom. actually found some space on the T side, but can they pull it off? Look at the weapons they've got. Not a lot. And Art now it's scoping into the left side of things. And they're pinned on in. Safe. Locking down the retreat. Art. Locking down the path forward, a smoke to divide, and safe takes down exit. Two more to find. Woody and Turtle marooned on the site, waiting for their demise. As, as each second passes, the CTs close on in. Safe positioning himself, ready and raring. Yuri from the heavens, and oh, a little bit concerned that this net may have been slipped here. But the lobsters are in the pot. Oh, Art. Happily collecting the kill and now Woody. He's had a very quiet game. He's had one kill so far. And that was it. And he needs to take down the remaining players. From nothing to a clutch, perhaps, for Woody. But Yuri is having to deny 
that. So 11 to 2. It's very, very solid here for Fiora. And when you see them start on the CT side, it's always it's always a rough showing. Uh, I think Fiora is just so good playing the CT side. They're just in the rhythm. Uh, I, I don't think there's any question right now. I don't like to use this term. Uh, I, I prefer to use different terminology. But I think out of all the teams here, Fury deserve the legend spot. They've earned the legend spot in, in my mind based off of the Counter-Strike we've seen them play in recent history. And uh, they are earning it right in front of our eyes. So another timeout called for MIBR. And if you're a Brazilian Counter-Strike fan, maybe you're a Furia fan. Maybe you own a nice little piece of merch like Dinko does and you want to see them at the Major over there in Antwerp 2022, the first Major of the year. Scan the QR code. And if you don't know how to scan the QR code, Google it. Well, I'll tell you how or to do it. Search Just open your camera like. on your phone. Does it work on all phones? Pr unless you've got... A, an old Nokia phone with no camera on it. I would assume it works. You just okay. scan it and then a link should come up. Oh, okay. So learning how to QR with Dinko. I like QR codes. They're kind of cool. They never, took, they never really took off and then they did. They were ahead of their time. They were. Oh. Art is just jumping on the spot. Uh, and actually hanging around. Art, you're on 11 points of health here. Where do you go? Caught Nigel. He's going to throw his HE deep into Khan. And get out of there. So not too much pressure put on towards him. Oh, the nade just behind his head just there. <laughs> he wants summon. He's throwing the AK over. What's going on, Art? He's juggling. Yeah, well, it's been odd. And What's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. What is he doing? Oh, he's got a flash. Oh, okay. okay. All right. He's got a flash set up. Yuri's in connector, but everybody from MIBR is going up through A. Problem is here, you still got to deal with Safe, who's in the bathrooms, and he's been very difficult to remove from these positions. Yeah, and if they just go straight up through mid and make their way in towards the side, I was going to say they could circumvent him completely, but he has now rotated back towards the dice box. He's kind of the only player. Their biggest drama is Yuri going to come up connector behind them. So whoever is in charge with holding that down needs to make sure that Yuri doesn't get away with more than one kill. Because he could just mow them all down. The silence down four is going to be scary. Safe looking like he wants to play retake on the site. He's in between two mines right now. The U2 in the air. 20 seconds left. And here he comes. Oh, well, they're setting up an execute. And Yuri does not like that. Removes Woody. Looking the wrong way. Now they decide, well, let's not turn back and fight. Instead, let's move forward. Let's try and take the fights on the site. Because we don't have much time. And Art has rooted it up. The initial damage finally collected. And the kill locked in. Bomb plant going through. And Furia finally in a position where they have to sweat a little bit. Yuri has actually got the position behind him. He's managed to kill. Now this puts pressure on the truck player. Who's dropped, spotted him out, sees the feet. Exit not over committee, not taking the fight. But he knows exactly where he is. And now the forces, they converge on the side. But Cello, he's holding. He's got a strong hold on this one. A tight grip with the time. It's ticking and Jota swings out to close. A third round for MIBR. Yeah, 11-4 on the half. Not too shabby. They should be able to work with that. But that's about converting it. Yuri trying to do absolutely everything there. And he's lonesome. He just needed one contribution from a teammate. And they could have likely picked that one up. It was another 3k there from Yuri. But it wasn't enough. This is the freebie in the back of Woody who's having a real rough go of things. Ah, it, it felt like there was either too much communication going or he didn't identify exactly what the sound cues were. So he got pants in that situation. And Cello with a bit of destruction on the top of the site. But the buy back out, not for safe, and MP9 for Art. It is looking good as they will get the extinguish on. Their intent has been noted. Safe's too aggressive. Looking for a lurk around the smoke position. Flashback fighting forward. A turtle gets the opener this time round. Just blindsided. Another kill to come on in. This time it's Cello taking out Yuri, who have managed 24 kills in the first half. 24 in the first half. Uh, ridiculous. But MIBR might manage a fourth round. Look at the push on B right now. Kaysarot is so oh. far forward with the timing on this. I don't know if they're going to see him. Oh, he's smoking off monsters, so they don't think he's here. Oh, genius play. Genius play. Big brain for Kaysarot. They're taking the time, but they're about to line up. And now two players on a silver platter for Casarado. How does he like it? Medium rare. He takes down two, no problem. <laughs> Exit turned around, but I don't think he spotted him. Two players left. Minute left. Nade goes through, and now just Turtle. Well, how should I say the Turtle's not going to help him now. Found himself a headshot, drop out of plays. We go under a minute left. Still a big clutch ahead of him. Flashes go through. Ball on his back. Two players to try and take down Art and Cursorado. 
If he tries to go up through heaven to A, because Art's got that. If he drops back through connector, Casarado's got that. So Turtle has to commit to the site in the limited time. What? He's 4 HP as well. Nothing really going for him in this. Yeah, B is his coffin right now. And as soon as he starts to plant, that's when Art's just going to leap from the heavens here. So being able to maneuver his way into the bomb site at least, but so many corners to clear, and time now really becoming the problem. 15 seconds, footsteps now starting to be noted. The plant comes on in, it's a fake. No push, they're calling the bluff, they're allowing it to play out the round. Eight, seven, has to go for it now. Now there's no time at all. Turtle dancing between the two, MP9 to the side of the head, and that was a three on five. That round started with Safe and Yuri getting pants, and Kei Serato's genius maneuver just winning the round single-handedly. So beautiful stuff, 12 to three. And the second half is where we shall see if uh, there's anything in the tank for MIVR. But this is great. A masterclass from Fury here today. And this is what I talk about when I... Obviously, we're not really seeing them too stressed out. But Yuri, for me, can be the best player on this team sometimes. He's just... Uh, I think goes under the radar a little bit. He has a rifle, of course. Doesn't have the flair a lot all the time. Doesn't have the crazy massive clutches. But the efficiency he has is just... It's great to watch. I, lo I love the stability that it provides. And Fury having a great time in this game. 12 to 3. Furia are now four away from a legend spot at the PGL Major Antwerp 2022. You can see the odds at the bottom of your screen. Ugh. Hmm. That's more like a, a, a rugby score rather than odds it's like that. It looks kind of ridiculous. Yeah, this is uh, really rough here for MIBR. I don't know if anybody really expected a, a different game. No. I, I think maybe a few people. Maybe expecting a bit more out of MIBR. Well, the thing is, like this, this is where people will go. It's Counter Strike. Anything's possible, and, and it is. It is. But very much true. There's, there was once upon a time where, when you were the favored team, you were, you were meant to shellac your opponents. I was on the receiving end of uh, uh, plenty <laughs> of ownings. And the same thing when I was in Australia, when we would versus the domestic teams, we would smash them, and we would take great pleasure in smashing them. But a smashing pistol here for MIBR. Three kills out the gates, two on five, back to B. Fury go. Well, bomb plant would make a big difference here. You get a force out of the next round if you want. Got a lot of rounds to play with here, Fury up. Bomb goes down, extra money picked up. Now it's about damage. Can you take a few players down on the way out? I feel Joda's won the round with the around the world maneuver. Yeah, it's, it seems like that's the insurance policy, especially with the distraction. Joda oh. headshot immediately there. Not a single player goes down for MIBR. They do concede the plan, but I think they'll be very happy with how that pistol went. Yeah, it, it was good shooting. Uh, it's a team ace. Everybody getting a kill right there for MIBR to get this one across the line. So the pistol round is done and dusted, but now it comes down to the conversion. And this is where life gets very difficult against a team like Furia. Operating with limited weapons is uh, pretty much in their namesake. AK in the hands of safe. We're going to see a scout for K Serato getting dropped across to Art. So K Serato will get an AK in exchange. Quite a nice little deal. A smoke being left there from exit to keep that monster position blocked on off. The Lils are out and a Deagle for Yuri. So a uh, pretty threatening looking buy here. If you compare the pair, it's going to be hard to separate the two in the purchase department. This is aggressive. This is very aggressive. Tr Trundle is not down. Cello is going to take a fight. They continue to be if they continue to battle. Safe's gone. Art's got one back. It flashed on off. The tag is there. Cello low. Needs to hightail it out of dodge. Woody looking to push through as well. Oh. Woody swings out. Takes a little bit of a fight. And now begins to drop back. It's always scary and fury. Get rifles into their hands. And now they're holding for the long bathrooms play. Woody would be wise not to overextend. Let them come into your crosser, draw them into the trap. But even then, he's 50 HP, so body shot should be enough to take him out and drop. Will easily collect his life. And if Yuri comes over, he can get himself into something a little bit better than the scout. Right, there's another rifle on the ground here. Actually, maybe just keep the scout. He's just tagged Jodo. Jodo's on 30. Th this round is done. Uh, 13 to 4. I can see the future. Wow. Crystal ball needed for that one, Chad. Yeah, it's taken me years to refine this. I did palm reading initially. Yeah. Uh, then I moved more into the tarot cards, and uh, and now it is obviously mastering that crystal ball. Next is the Harry Hugh you, telepathy kind of yeah, clicking, that, snapping thing. Yeah, a little game that the two of them used to play in the schoolyard, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing in, uh, trying to turn a, uh, a school game into a party trick. It impressed a couple of people. It did. It, it impressed a few people. You nearly got him, but... Uh, I did try and make it a little bit more difficult, didn't I? Furia now moving up through long with three remaining players. No one around. It's going to be 
nice and easy to put that bomb down. Beep, boop, 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 beep. What's the code for the bomb, Chad? Starts with a seven, right? Seven something. I don't get past the seven. Seven, five, eight, zero, what one. Do you, what do you feel like? I, some people have gotten some quirky Counter-Strike tattoos. I'm trying to think of, you know, what, so there's some, some cool ones out there. Okay. Um, I think the more niche references are pretty cool. Yeah. Like something that you, doesn't make it obvious what it is. Oh, like, it's okay if you want it to be obvious. Oh, okay. It's your own body, right? So yeah. if, you, if, if, if you're choosing to put it on there, put it wherever you want. But the, what, my point is, I'm, I don't have any tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? No. Yeah, you're like me. Bit of a clean cut gentleman. Are you thinking about getting any tattoos? No. Yeah, me either. I mean, I thought about it for a while when I was kind of going through like, oh, I'm bored during the pandemic. Oh, well, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo because you were bored. Yeah. Okay. I was just like, you know. Yeah, why not, I guess. Yeah. It's like, well, and then I thought, well, the thing about tattoos is, they seem sore and they're permanent and uh, maybe if I don't like it I'm gonna have to be stuck with it and yeah I did notice Launders has a few cool ones he's got like a Dark Souls tattoo in his eye I love it he's got some cool ones for sure but uh nah CSGO tattoo I think Simples is the coolest but with the, the cash drop down oh he's also got he also has Aeroplane. a plane on his yeah. hand yeah I, I love the that is a really cool one some artist designs it perfectly for you get it done that would be it you get a well, excellent. Getting boosted up. And one are just trying to see what they can do here. You can yeah. see a little bit of a boost, maybe. Uh, even that. Like, what can you do if you're MIBR? You're just boosted up. Cancerato immediately just stops what he's doing, flicks up, hits the headshot. Yeah, because they extinguished, there's a couple of options available. One have been the push through into sewer. The second is that boost. And... If you've even done the slightest bit of homework on your opponent and you know what their go-to little maneuvers to find a pick are on saved gun rounds, that would have been told to Furia today before they went into overpass, right? This team likes to do this triple boost. Because honestly, outside of the America's RMR, I can't remember the last time I actually saw that triple boost. It's not very common. It's not common at all, no, really. So no. We've seen it a couple of times in a couple of days. Uh, so it's obviously something here that Certain opponents are happy to rock on out, but 14 to four. I feel like it's a pretty risky boost to do. Um, it's fine in these kind of rounds, but you know if you do that in a gun run, you're committing a couple of players to the sandbags, right? And you, if you get rush monster, sure, you're giving up a lot of space. So that's probably why we don't see it a whole lot. Any boost that commits too many resources, you don't see too often. I did. I do love overpass the amount of boost you do see, though. Yeah, it's it's interesting that. Oh, Okay, all right, well, I'm trying to get the wall bang on through. Oh, oh it's held on for a mere moment before drop confirms the kill. I don't think there's any question in the world who the better team is here. This is uh, a nice quick day at the office for everybody involved. Yeah, for uh, MIPR, it's not really a lot to, to get too hyped about. I think now you, you realize you, you are being outclassed. You have those for the major. This is their map choices. Right? Yeah. That's a little rough. A lot of work to be done for MIBR. Uh, this is kind of a little insight to the level. You've obviously made it to the major, but this is a little insight, a little taster of what is to come when you go to the major, when you play against the best teams in the world. You're going to get levels like this and you're gonna have to try and deal with that so yeah in the best of ones i think that they'll be able to be a bit more competitive they won't be uh yes uh, so so outclassed across the map pool but in the best of threes that's where life's gonna get very difficult and realistically you've only got what two three weeks and, and it's not the a major. lot of time yeah so you, you have to try and fix a lot and, and get a lot going your way but uh for fewer they have even more now if they make the legend spot right very true very true so they get a bit of extra time here to continue to refine how they want to approach the game and uh, down to the pistols here to defend against 15. So the USPs come walking down the connector stairs. They have one player over towards the B bomb site. That is going to be Cello. He's going to hope to uh, at least show a bit of a presence here so they don't just stroll on in. But uh, K Serato might have a couple on his plate. If they swing open that door, oh, they're going to push on four. Door does swing over. K Serato caught off guard, gets one and a half. The AK drop. But look at the mini map, everybody. Top left of your screen, you're about to see with this overhead camera the a bomb site was empty and because of which the spacing the pace and the bomb are going to get planted as the bomb site has already been fortified you've got this very forward position now of yuri let's see how many he can get another 3k crap chat what's that he's uh 25th kill 26th kill Oh, he's 
down. I think, who did he just kill then? Like, because there's, he was, he was shooting the body, he dropped the Molotov on the body. You know, he's having a bit of fun. He's cremating them. Yeah, I, li I like it. I like it a lot. Flash on through, exit, seeing if he can retain. Very diligent with these spams, aren't they, Fury? Up. And I've got a, not been given a slither of mercy, have they? So you can't really even save your rifles. Luckily, this time, uh, it's actually going to wait with one because, oh no, they won't tell the way out the door. We make or, it none, don't we? Yes, well, that is horrible. Okay, well, the, uh, and the grand scale of things it doesn't really do a lot anyway. Most likely here, Fury up very, very close to closing this. MIBR, this would be come back for the ages if they find a way to this one. Maybe a few rounds now to try and make the scoreline look a bit more respectable on the way out the door. Our job is normally to keep the viewers here and engaged, but uh, if you've got something to do, leave now to beat the traffic. Okay, Serato's already found the opener. There's no, there's no traffic. But uh, I have made that comment before in an arena before. That's a good idea. Yeah. the analyst desk. Yeah. yeah, leave now to beat the traffic. I'm sure the boss is not too happy with that type of... Uh, Grab some snacks on the way out. Grab your merch, all that. Get your hot dogs. Yes. We do actually have an interview most likely towards the end of this. So that's what it's sticking around for. Okay, so if they're quick, we can get into the interview quicker here because the kills keep on coming. Jury, 27 frags to his name. Just absolutely storming away with this one. The exit, last man standing. And they're going to knife. Are they going to knife? They are going to. Well, they tried. I Our... think they still might try. That, was, that would have been two knives for, for artists in this map so far. Exit playing up on the smoke, shots coming down past him. They know exactly where he's coming from. One more kill, and Fury have confirmed it, but Exit is doing a bit of damage. Keserado on the flank around should be the insurance policy for that legend spot. He's around the back side, Exit looking the wrong way. An assassination, one bullet does it. Fury are heading to the Major with a legend spot locked in. Probably uh, one of the easier matches for Fury here to get themselves a legend spot, but celebrating nonetheless, big smiles on the faces, and this is what they came here to the America's RMR to achieve. That legend status is going to be top 16 of the main...